This is sort of a continuation of the review I did the other day for the G915 Lightspeed that just came out from Logitech. There are actually three flavors of switches. At the time I only had one, which was the GL Clicky. But since then I have received the other two flavors, which are the GL Tactile and the GL Linear. So since I already have the video from the GL Clicky, I'll just go ahead and pop that in here. And then we'll come back to these two in just a moment. Logitech developed these switches with a switch manufacturer called Kaiwa. They're based on the chocolate line. Now I have the microphone very close to the keyboard so you can get a better feel for the sound. It's very consistent. And now I will move the microphone away so that you can hear the sound from a more reasonable distance. Now I'm about a foot and a half away from the microphone. You can definitely hear that the keys are being depressed and released. It has a very mechanical sound, but it's also a very pleasant sound. I like that. All right, we're back here with the other two flavors of the key switches, which are the linear, which is this keyboard here, and the tactile, which is this keyboard here. Now I have the microphone right down next to the keyboard so that just like with the clicky switches, you can hear these. So this is the linear. And it's really pretty quiet. The tactile actually has a little more snap in the switch and it certainly does the name tactile justice but it is also not very not very loud at all so now the microphone is back about a foot and a half two feet away from the keyboards but again what I notice here with the linear switches it's just the same consistent feel when you push the key. There's no bump, there's no increasing amount of effort. It's just a smooth travel all the way until the key stops. Whereas with the tactile, you have that bump. And it's hard to really describe, but you can feel you build up a little bit of pressure and there's a very, very mild bump where it kind of continues the travel after you build up so much pressure and continues. But it's a very subtle Feel. It's not terribly obvious, but there is a difference between these two. And certainly with the GL Clicky, which gives that little switch again, you can hear that from quite a distance. And if you like that sound, then that's definitely the flavor of switch you want to use. Logitech has a very nice web page that uh, goes over all their different switch styles, but of the three GL styles here that, that I've looked at, uh, you can definitely see the curve here, the force versus distance curve, and you can see uh, right at the point where you build up the force and you can actually feel the bump and you can see it graphically here. Same thing with the linear switch. It's a very smooth actuation and that is shown here by this graph. And the GL clicky, of course, you get that audible click and you can see as the force builds up then it releases and then you get the click. So it's a great little web page there that explains the switches and it explains all the other switches from Logitech uh, also. Logitech put a lot of time and development into the overall low profile design of the entire keyboard. And you really need to feel these keys to get a true appreciation for how good they really are, how smooth and how consistent. So if you get a chance, you really need to check these out. This is Chris with Overclockers Club. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.